I'm still working on the Yixiang do-it-yourself battery kits here. I've got the new one at the top and the older version at the bottom. Um, I had these two, I had this stack here in the battery room actually for the last two days since I made this review for the new battery box. And I was just trying to pull this whole stack out again to do more testing on the circuit breaker, but I couldn't wheel it out. It just wouldn't move, you know. And I found that the actual wheels at the front are bended. Look at this. Let me see if I can find the right. There, there you can see the gap. Hang on, hang on. There you can see the gap on the right of the wheel at the top. It acts, it's actually caving in on the left side. And see how the whole wheel is bended? And the rubber feet actually were touching the ground, that's why I couldn't move it, so I had to move them up quite a lot. You probably can see it here in the reflection of the light on the floor, how this whole metal bends in. There's a big, big curve. They actually did a little bit of a better, well, a different job, I would say, not a better, a different job of putting these wheels at the back all the way to the end of the case. So you've got this corner, which is supporting your, your wheels, and there's also the welded frame inside. You know where the battery cell sits against? So there's this welded frame and the back wall and all this structure inside welded together. This is far more durable than, than, having, than having just a hole and a nut welded on the other side, an M10 nut holding the wheel, you know, and the whole metal is not supported anywhere. And it is basically just too far away from the corners. Just one of these other safety concerns about the Yishi Young do-it-yourself box. Guys, welcome back to the off -grid garage here in sunny, overcast, cloudy, but still hot and sweaty Australia. The batteries are always full. I've limited the power to 50 amps now into the battery, so don't want to overly heat them up while charging or discharging, so I really keep it slow at the moment until the actual air condition comes into the room. It's already ordered. The electrician knows about it, so hopefully it will come soon. And then I'll finish up this wall there, air condition goes in, and we will have nice 24 degrees inside here. That will be good. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, well, this morning I wanted actually to explore this um, circuit breaker a little bit here because... So, this is now in the off position. It says green off and it is down. Yeah, correct. So I put it in the on position now. Now it is on. So, and if I press this trigger button now, it obviously trips and goes halfway down, right? So, to reset, I have to push it down in the off position and then all the way up again. And we have our 53 volts again. So, it works actually as intended. If I now press the trigger button, the position is off. What? It goes to the on position. So then I went over to the Gobel power battery here. They have got a similar circuit breaker in their box. This is in the off position now. Obviously the BMS is not turned on and I press the button here and here as well, it triggers it into the on position. But if you look closely, it's actually not the on position. It is the true position. On would be that, yeah, all the way up. So obviously these circuit breakers have a mechanical trigger button as well as an electronic trigger function. But even without any voltage, these ones will still trigger with the mechanical trip mechanism inside. It trips into the trip position roughly in the middle of the on and off position. Interesting. So conclusion, there's nothing wrong with the breaker. Yi Young have used in their do-it-yourself battery box here. I was just confused that it actually trips when it's in the off position. Never seen this before. All right, my friends, this is the short video from today, checking out the um, circuit breaker of the Yi Young do-it-yourself battery box version two. They have also replied already to my last video when we tested this box in all details. But now we've got the issue with the wheels. So at the moment, I would not recommend to stack more than two of them on top of each other. And if you don't use the wheels, 
the boxes have these small feet underneath, but the position of the feet is actually close enough to the corner of the box, and it should give a stack of batteries enough stability so it doesn't bend. But I haven't tested it. This is just my conclusion from observing this box. So I'm not 100% sure. If you have stacked multiple of these boxes on top of each other already, let us know in the comments down below. I would really be interested in how this performs over time, if it starts caving in slightly. Because clearly the corner is only on one side and here you've got the whole flat metal only. And I'm expecting that the feet actually start bending in in this area here where there's only the one and a half, two millimeter steel plate with no extra support. And yeah, if you have, leave your comments down below, please. All right, I thought I'd make this quick video here about the circuit breaker uh, functionality in the Yishi Young Do-It-Yourself box version two. Everything is linked down below. You can still order the old version if you prefer the old version style of the box. And they keep producing this one as well as the new one. Both links are down under the video. Guys, until the next video when we do something completely different, you want to have a look at these EVE LF280K cells, which claim to have 308 ampere hours. Until then, guys, you stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye bye.